I didn't know too much about the Senior of the Year Award until I guess the last number of years, and I've known some of the folks in Gravenhurst that have had that honor. Uh, John Cooper, Hank Smith, uh, Jim Goodwin, uh, Roy Kerr over the years and stuff. But it's, it, then, then I, so I, so I, I didn't know it was happening. I, I heard rumors a year ago that somebody was going to nominate me. And the way it works, it's a provincial award that the municipalities can recommend a citizen of their community. But there's only 20 in the province a year. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I looked that up on the internet uh, on Tuesday before I went and received the award. Uh, or I didn't go, I, I zoomed to get my award, which is really cool. Uh, so I, I tried to figure out, this, this is really interesting. Um, and, and so I got on Zoom, uh, Paul Kelly uh, apologized the mayor. He said, I, we approved this last spring because we normally do it in, in May at the seniors thing. And then with COVID, everything got canceled. And I forgot all about it until the award arrived <laughs> in my office last week from the province. So he sent me a note and said, Gord, can you come on Zoom with us? Because we got this award to give you. And I said, what award? He went, oh, oh. <laughs> so anyway, it was a great surprise. And it meant, it meant a lot to me. It meant um, a recognition of, uh, I've had 33 years living here in, 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 in Gravenhurst and loving every minute of it and being involved with charities and volunteering and volunteer organizations all my life. So I wasn't doing anything different that I normally do. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I respect all of those people that they were ones I looked up to who, who had previously the Volunteer of the Year Award. So I, I thought this was kind of neat. And uh, I, so I asked uh, John, John Cooper and his wife and, and sort of quarterbacked the application, I guess. And, and so I, this morning I heard who all signed on to that application. So I sent them a little love note and thanked them. And uh, it's fascinating with the way everything works today in the social media and, and, and with uh, your TV and everybody else. It, it really gets out into the community. So I just came from shopping. Canadian Tire, uh, one of their managers stopped me in the aisle and said, thank you. I asked one of their, their clerks uh, to look for something that I couldn't find, and she thanked me and, and congratulated me. At the checkout, I was thanked. Uh, when I went to pick up some things at, at Frosty Pint that we'd ordered for our family from Frozen Food, uh, three people in the restaurant th th thanked me and said, congratulations. Uh, it's been like that all day. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, my emails are going nuts and Facebook and all of those things, which I'm not used to. Uh, but, you know, what it means to be volunteer, you can't have a community without volunteers. And if you look around Gravenhurst, this has got to be the most volunteer-centric community anywhere. You know, uh, an example would be Gap. Gap started three years ago uh, with an idea of a couple of people. Now they have over 200 volunteers working every week for GAP to do their transportation, their two feeding programs, to stuff all of the to put the food together, deliver it, drive it out. Uh, you know, 200 volunteers just on that one new program. Then you got all of the minor hockey things and, and minor sports, which are sort of on hold right now, but those are all volunteers. All of the other community organizations, your Lions Club, your Legion, your, your Rotary, all, your, all of those people drive, drive this community. And then the volunteers that just walk down the street and help their neighbor. So volunteers drive this community and they make it what it is. They make it a caring, loving place to live and to grow and to, 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 to raise your family and to, to grow old because everybody's looking after everybody. And that is really special. I think people in cities miss that. And we're really fortunate to live in a place like Gravenhurst where we can, we can know each other, we can say hi, even if we don't know them, we can say hi and introduce ourselves because that can happen in a smaller community. So we're very fortunate and I'm just lucky to live here and continue to do what I do. I had a kick uh, last, last year I turned 75. So I, I said to some folks, I said, so now I'm in my last quarter, you know, like it's a football game or a basketball game and you know, it's it really exciting in the last quarter. So I also said that I was going to start to slow down and, and give up some of my volunteer things and, and, and executive responsibilities on some of the charities I've been involved with and universities and things. 
And so, so when this happened, my wife, Dale, said, uh, what are you doing today, Gord? Like, it, you know, are you still active? And, you know, she's like, so I wrote down, that, and I'm still, I still have a passion for 14 organizations that I'm involved with right now. So I'm having a blast, and it's good fun. It keeps me young, it keeps me smiling, it keeps me satisfied that I hopefully I'm making a difference in Muskoka and in Gravenhurst and beyond because I have some other uh, volunteer things uh, you know, at the, at the University in North Bay and, and other charities that are provincial wide. So I, I love it and it's great fun. And I hope everybody that moves to Gravenhurst in the future, they're coming to Gravenhurst with more knowledge, more education, better health than ever before in the history of Canada. And I want them to get involved in Gravenhurst. I want them to become a volunteer. Somewhere, that's something that's passionate for them. And that, that way, as Gravenhurst grows, the volunteer pool will grow and more good things can happen. I look at some of the new volunteers involved with GAP, right, on their steering committee and, and planning some of these things. These are great new volunteers to Muskoka. I have just so much respect for what they're, trying, they're doing. They got involved, they found something that's passionate, and they're having fun doing it. So. Welcome to the volunteer world. I hope everybody participates. You'll love it. It's good for you. It's good for the community. It's good for your family. And it's good for business. So let's continue to make Gravenhurst the best volunteer community in the country.